Welcome. My name is Susanna Hopsalerin, and I'm the Senior Editor of Data and Research for Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine. Thank you for joining our webinar today titled, Resuscitate Your Cardiovascular Supply Chain, Efficiency Through Automation, sponsored by a grant from Cardinal Health. Operational efficiency can be a struggle for today's supply chain leaders. With the dynamics shifting to more non-invasive cardiovascular procedures, along with added pressure to deliver value-based care and reduce spending, driving effective CV inventory management is not only a good idea, it's essential. To tell us more, our thought leader today will be Lisa Steps, a clinical consultant with Cardinal Health Inventory Management Solutions. She will be discussing how to resuscitate your CV supply chain with the implementation of operational excellence best practices and automation to empower your staff. Lisa will share strategies to help your team drive accuracy, capture missing charges, reduce waste, and streamline workflows. She will also showcase some best practices from two hospitals that are using this automated approach to more efficiently manage cardiovascular inventory. Our webinar will conclude with a question and answer session. To submit a question to be addressed during the question and answer period, please click on the Ask the Question button at the bottom of the console. Simply type your question in the box and hit Submit. Questions can be submitted at any time during the presentation. Now, I'll turn our discussion over to Lisa Steps. Thank you, Susanna. My role at Cardinal Health Inventory Management Solutions is to help hospitals and health systems use the power of inventory automation and data analytics to improve efficiency, lower cost, and enhance the quality of patient care. Prior to joining Cardinal Health, I was a project manager and data analyst at St. Joseph's Hospital of Atlanta, which is part of the Emory Healthcare System, so I know firsthand about the cost and quality challenges that you face, and that's why we're here today. I'm going to talk about how inventory automation and data analytics can help improve the performance of one of the most critical and costliest areas of your institution, your cardiovascular suite, and I'll share strategies and steps for building alignment with clinicians and driving operational efficiency through automation. So let's get started. To help improve your CV supply chain performance, we'll cover several topics today, including the need for change in the CV suite. Several major trends are impacting performance today. We'll reveal what they are, and more importantly, discuss the steps that you can take today to better manage these trends and implement success. I'll share the three areas of operational excellence related to people, processes, and technology. Then we'll move on to how automated inventory management can be the answer for improving performance in your own CV suite. We'll talk about two specific examples of how it's working right now in the real world. Then we'll wrap up with some specific steps that you can take to explore the potential advantages of automating your own CV inventory and putting your plan into action. But first, let's take a moment to talk about how Cardinal Health is uniquely qualified to help institutions like yours improve supply chain performance. We help our customers focus on patient care by collaborating to reduce cost, enhance efficiency, and improve quality. This patient-first approach has helped us gain wide recognition, including being named by Gartner as a top leader in healthcare supply chain innovation for the past five consecutive years. Our focus on operational excellence across the care continuum helps our customers spend more time caring for patients, less time caring for products. But what are the challenges standing in your way to achieving operational excellence in the cardiac cath lab? Let's take a quick poll. We'd like to know what your top barriers are in the cardiac cath lab. Here's a list of some of the most common barriers.
these results are not surprising, and they are consistent with what we see across the country every day. Thanks for sharing your input. Now let's talk about the major trends that are driving these challenges. According to a recent study by the advisory board, the CV suite is actually expanding, not consolidating. This is in direct contrast to the mass consolidation occurring at hospitals and health systems nationwide. The expansion of the CV suite has been the norm over the past few years with the introduction of interventional cardiolo cardiology services. In short, the CV suite is taking on roles that traditionally belong to other departments. As surgical and interventional therapies come together, the birth of the hybrid cath lab has created new challenges that impact inventory management, efficiency, and cost control, and ultimately patient care. The second major trend is managing to your Medicare margin. Value-based care directly impacts the triple aim initiatives of enhancing the patient experience, lowering cost, and improving population health in your own community. By 2018, 50% of your Medicare payments must come from alternative payment models. For 2016, reimbursements for CV inpatient procedures will remain relatively flat, while outpatient reimbursements will fall for the first time ever. With all of these new cost pressures, it's only natural that there's a heightened scrutiny on utilization, reducing inventory costs, and managing product recalls and expirations. Ultimately, the goal is to spend every dollar more wisely and maximize the quality of care. Developing a strategy of supply chain excellence is a critical step. A supply chain excellence strategy has four components. First, start by creating end-to-end -end product visibility. Without it, you have a difficult time knowing for sure how much inventory you have on hand, not to mention identifying products at or nearing expiration and those being recalled. Managing recalls is a tremendous challenge. According to the FDA, there were nearly 1,200 product recalls in 2012. 99% were handled manually. In addition, consignment is another challenge that faces our customers today. Understanding the consignment levels, the values, where they can have wins and and how they manage that, having visibility to that is highly critical. And we're going to talk about ways that we can streamline that. The second component of a supply chain excellence strategy is aligning priorities. That can be challenging for the cath lab director who is balancing the need to improve product visibility and eliminate waste while helping clinicians focus on patient care and documentation. The good news is that both the supply chain and the clinical teams share the same common goal of improving the patient experience. Next, you'll want to seek process improvement. Relying on manual processes that are cumbersome and repetitive don't solve problems, but they can create them. Finally, and most importantly, focus on driving more informed decisions through analytics. This is using the power of data to literally light up the supply chain from end to end revealing and sharing inventory and utilization information at every touch point. When you do, you'll have the confidence to make informed and effective decisions that lower costs, improve efficiency, and give more time back to your clinicians for patient care. So how do we get there? To successfully implement a strategy of supply chain excellence in your own CV suite, let's focus on people, processes, and technology. They are the three most critical areas of operational excellence and can support your institution's triple aim strategic goals while addressing day-to-day -day challenges such as product expirations, consignment, and recall. Let's take a closer look at the three areas of operational excellence. People. It's important to recognize who's involved in the CV workflow. You'll want to identify and align the needs and expectations of each stakeholder. So, for example, your clinicians. They want more time to care for patients, less time caring for products. They have specific needs around the physician preference items. How can we improve the CV supply chain to ensure the right products are available when they're needed and that clinicians have the time they need to spend on patient care instead of managing or searching for inventory? In the midst of a complex or emergent situation, clinicians want to know the products they need are available and they need to know where to locate them quickly. 
Supply chain professionals need to keep a steady supply of the right products available for the clinicians right when they need them, doing so efficiently and cost-effectively. The inventory manager does not want to be on the receiving end of an angry physician because a product is out of stock or it can't be located. Having the ability to look up a product and see all the locations where the product exists down to a specific cabinet in the department really minimizes that search time and the time that a nurse is away from the procedure room. And then there are finance professionals who need to protect your institution's margins while supporting quality outcomes. That's especially important as reimbursements are tied more and more to quality metrics. Ensuring that charges are accurately captured and documented is also critical, as is the ability to track high-priced physician preference items, low-cost, high-volume consumables, and utilization. Your IT department also is involved. They need to help streamline workflows and minimize interruptions. They're likely to embrace solutions that are in the cloud, easy to manage, secure, and require minimal IT installation and support. They'll want an analytics platform with inventory management tools that are plug and play and don't require analyst support. All four audiences share some universal challenges as well. Dealing with minimal inventory and utilization documentation, over, overcoming the tribal knowledge that's rooted in manual processes, knowledge that can be easily lost as personnel move on to different roles. That's a real challenge. Avoiding the emotional ordering that's based on intuition instead of hard data. This leads to things like overstocking, expirations, and a variety of other inventory management challenges. Above all, not having a clearly acknowledged common goal among all stakeholders. When roles are clearly defined and value is clearly communicated to each department and every stakeholder, they can equally support the implementation and new strategy. This change management component is critical in success. The result can be a highly efficient CV supply chain and workflow that saves money, boosts efficiency, and supports your efforts to improve patient outcomes. When hospitals I've worked with take a team approach to involve all stakeholders early on in the vision strategy and journey for optimization, they see a quicker return on investment and meeting their goals around triple aim. Operationally, customer service to both physicians and patients is enhanced because an automated inventory system prevents a department from solely relying on tribal knowledge and emotional ordering to maintain inventory and processes. Now let's move on to the second area of operational excellence, which is focused on CV workflow processes. The goal is to identify and overcome several process-related challenges. For starters, Manual and redundant paper processes for each product are prone to human error. They're also inefficient and they take time away from patient care. Then there is the challenge of little to no inventory visibility, which leads to product levels that aren't matched to your utilization patterns. There's the potential for stockouts, not to mention dedicating time to inventory management that would better be spent taking care of your patients. Finally, there's the negative impact on patient safety. When you don't have true visibility into your inventory, you can't match your purchasing with utilization, you dramatically increase the potential for product expiration. At the same time, manual processes make it difficult to manage recall products. In addition, managing your, your expirations proactively is also important. It is one area with a huge return. The labor impact with automated expiration management and the financial impact of being able to forecast usage and identify slow or no moving products allows for redistribution of products within your hospital or IDN and even through your manufacturer. The third area of operational excellence is focused on technology. One of the biggest challenges is knowing which technology to use. With all of the systems out there, we're asked questions constantly about what is better? How do I manage my inventory? Barcode or RFID? While barcodes can be very beneficial for scanning specific low value supply cost items and patient identification information, they have inherent challenges with speed and automation. You can only scan one barcode at a time and it requires a clear line of sight. 
But elevating your technology to a radio frequency identification or RFID automation platform solves the line of sight issue and it dramatically speeds up your results. By using smart cabinets, smart wands, and automation, you'll improve visibility and reduce the time it takes to accurately perform cycle counts. Most RFID inventory management solutions use high-frequency or ultra-high-frequency tags to track, count, and find products. But how do you know which frequency to choose? When location and read rate accuracy are important, use high-frequency. This is very important in areas like the OR. Nurses can't afford to spend time searching for the right device. High-frequency RFID is also recommended for specialty items, liquid or metal, blood sample bags, heart valves, drug-eluting stents. The need to track these items at the each level, down to the serial number, lot number, very important. And this will help you improve your inventory management as well as your charge capture processes. When speed and tracking movement are critical, choose ultra-high frequency. This technology is ideal for real-time location systems, or RTLS. This is good for tracking patient movement, so patients wearing wristbands, possibly wheelchairs, IV pumps, and patient beds. But now that we talked about people, processes, and technology, these are the three areas of operational excellence. What can you do to improve each one? Automation is the answer, and RFID-enabled technology is the automation tool that synchronizes the three important goals. One, increases accurate documentation for regulatory purposes, improves charge capture, and enables more efficient audit processes. This technology also helps ensure you have the right amount of inventory on hand based on actual utilization in your cath lab, and to continually improve performance, data-driven analytics track usage over time. This helps drive better decision-making, such as helping you right-size your high-value PPI inventory while avoiding the costly trap of emotional ordering. I've seen examples where the data actually changes the conversation. So in working with your value analysis committee and even your physician champions, it's important to have data that you can show them, hard facts about the utilization of data in your lab. How do you manage PPI inventory in your own facility today? Let's take another quick poll. How is your facility currently managing high-cost cardiovascular inventory? Select the answer that best describes your situation. Great, thanks for sharing your input. I see many of you are using um, barcode solutions today and even a lot of manual processes. And this is in line with what we're seeing across the country. When you automate CV inventory management, what are the best practices that bring it all together? For starters, your CV automated solution should manage the full range of products that you use daily. This includes the low cost, commodity supplies, all the way up to your high-value physician preference items, and there are several best practices for success. Using RFID technology for high-value products such as stents and balloons, to better manage items at the each level with speed and accuracy while proactively managing expiration and understanding the cost per case and your utilization patterns. RFID technology allows you to have complete visibility down to the each level. It allows you to manage your expirations through automation. So you're not looking at each box on the shelf. You're actually able to, to do it by exception and just pull the products that you know are expiring or near expiring. For commodities, barcode and tube and Kanban are a good fit. 
The supply chain team takes care of managing inventory and rotating stock, and clinicians can take the product and go. This system also supports the first-in, first-out inventory management, which helps avoid expired and obsolete products. Your system should improve accurate charge capture as well. By replacing manual processes with one automated step that takes seconds to complete, no hard copy logs to keep, and you'll improve compliance. By improving the clinical workflow process, we remove redundancy and documentation, automate the capture of supplies at the point of care, and the end result was a significant improvement in charge capture and reduced manual edits to correct costly errors found during the audit process. Your solution should also interface with your hospital systems, like your hemodynamic monitoring system, to improve data connectivity and eliminate redundant documentation. This is very important to your clinical staff. Automating the data, data capture at the point of care significantly helped our clinicians. They no longer had to select items from a drop-down list or manually enter data during a busy case. Providing the clinicians a tool to augment their workflow and manage inventory at the same time is a win-win. With an automated system, you should not have to cycle count anything. Eliminating manual counting and its inevitable errors should significantly reduce the time spent managing inventory. And finally, your automated system should provide a strong analytics program that delivers accurate, real-time data so you can set inventory levels based on predictable ordering patterns. When all of these best practices come together, what does the new automated workflow look like in your CV suite? Here's an example, which includes the steps from the point of receiving and tagging with RFID to the point of use, followed by the signal for reordering. This solution is designed around clinician-friendly tools and workflows to drive operational excellence throughout the entire process of receiving, using, and tracking supplies. Let's take a closer look at this workflow. First, we talk about receiving items. Receiving items that are into your inventory management system is a critical step. Tagging items is a very simple process. It takes about five to eight seconds where you attach an RFID tag and you marry the data of the barcode of the product to a unique identifier on the ID tag. And a growing number of manufacturers are pre-tagging their products for us so they arrive ready to put away. That simple process will, will inter intersect with your ordering system and allow you to receive and close those orders. Your materials team can quickly tag exterior packaging for items when needed. Compared to the thousands of automated cycle counts that will be enabled, the time that it takes to place a tag is really insignificant and a small investment. Products can be stored in a variety of ways. They can be stored on smart cabinets with built-in readers that automatically cycle count your inventory for you, so you never have to perform a cycle count or items can be stored on ordinary shelving that requires periodic counting with a smart wand, which is an automated way of RFID counting those products for you. Unlike a barcode reader, which must scan individual codes, our wand can count several separate tags simultaneously with complete accuracy. This means that your material staff can count the contents of an entire open shelf in just a couple of minutes. When Clinicians are ready to use the product. They just take the product from the shelf. The cabinet will recognize that the product has been removed and it will be reported in the, in the software. At the point of use inside the clinician's uh, work area, the product is waved in front of a workstation reader. The change is captured and documented with an interface to the hemodynamic system, which is then eventually pushed to your charge process, and that's all there is to it. Inventory is managed through utilization reports, which provide smart ordering, enterprise visibility, and expiration management. We believe automation and predictive analytics is the key to revitalizing your inventory supply chain. Let's look at case studies of customers who have automated their processes. Our first case study is on Good Samaritan Hospital. It's a 408-bed facility in downtown Los Angeles. Good Samaritan's primary goal is to manage to its Medicare margin. 
In other words, preserve its margin by reducing supply costs without compromising clinical quality. How does automated inventory management in the CV suite support that ambitious and yet essential goal for Good Samaritan? Good Samaritan's automated system provides real-time inventory and usage capture. So the CV service line director literally has cost per case information at his fingertips. This enables the supply chain team to drill down to individual procedure types by physician, and that level of granularity uncovers new ways to right-size inventory levels, reduce cost, and increase efficiency. The hospital began with higher ticket products, such as their stents and balloons, and using the system's smart tracking inventory controls and reordering tools. Good Samaritan tells us that today, practically everything is automatically tracked. And that level of automation leads to streamlined point-of-care workflow. The system also makes it easy to track every item pulled for every case. And with automated PAR-based reordering, the system can help ensure that clinicians have the right products right when they need them. Good Samaritan Hospital is attacking supply costs every day and automated inventory management is playing a major role in helping this institution protect its margin on every case, every day. Our second case study comes to us from CHI Memorial Hospital. It is a 365-bed hospital and associated health facilities in Chattanooga, Tennessee. CHI Memorial was looking for new ways to cut unnecessary costs in its seven cardiac cath labs. And how does automating its CV inventory make a difference? CHI Memorial implemented a full integrated RFID-enabled inventory management system in its CV suite. More than six years and 30,000 cases later, what are those results? For starters, CHI Memorial has streamlined its inventory and workflow with a significantly reduced balloon and stent inventory. While doing so, the emphasis has always remained on quality, not quantity. As a result, this hospital has improved its clinical, financial, and operational performance. In fact, the hospital's cath lab director has said that this approach to automation is essential to managing labs these days. It makes life so much easier for the cath lab staff. CHI Memorial uses our web-based RFID software for managing their high-dollar inventory, utilizing the reports and tools within the system to drive success while the mobile barcode capability tracks all other commodity supplies. In short, the system is automatic, efficient, and above all, accurate. After all that we've discussed today, do you believe your own hospital has good visibility into CV inventory? Let's take another poll. Take a moment now to answer this question. Do you believe your hospital has good visibility into cardiovascular inventory? By visibility, we mean inventory levels and cost per case information. sharing your input. It looks like many of you have an opportunity to improve using RFID automation. But what steps can you take to put your own automation plan into action? First, identify key challenges that you're seeking to solve as they relate to improving efficiency, lowering costs, and supporting patient care. How will solving these challenges support your institution's strategic goals in the new world of value-based care? Next, Address these challenges by developing a shared vision among all your stakeholders. What are the goals that they all have in common, and how can you work together to achieve them? Then explore your options to achieve this shared vision. Make sure that the options you choose can grow with you. So, for example, will the solution you're creating for the CV suite work for other areas of your hospital down the road, such as your OR or your interventional radiology lab? Could it work for all other supplies across your entire hospital or health system? Can you create a system with IDN visibility, visibility across your entire hospital? 
Once you've considered your options, develop a list of requirements that your solution must have. For example, clinicians may want to eliminate manual documentation. Once you've established your requirements, you're ready to select an automation solution. Be sure that you define your implementation needs as part of your selection process so that you can help ensure a smooth transition to the new system. And as you implement these steps, what are the keys to success? First, make sure your new automation system can seamlessly integrate into existing processes. Next, look for every opportunity to streamline workflows. By doing so, you'll not only be more efficient and lower cost, but you'll give more time back to your clinicians for patient care. And above all, remember that with every step you take, you're not adding complexity, you're taking it away. This is the proven path to resuscitating your cardiovascular supply chain today. The solution is working across the country already, as we've seen in our case studies. And there are clear steps you can take right now to get started. At Cardinal Health Inventory Management Solutions, we're here to help you. Thank you all again for your time and attention today. And now we'll be able to take some of your questions. Thank you, Lisa, for your presentation. We will now begin the question and answer portion of today's event. As a reminder, you may submit a question by clicking on the Ask the Question button at the bottom of the console. Simply type your question on the box and hit Submit. Our speaker will answer as many questions as possible in the time remaining. Questions that are unable to be answered in our allotted time will be shared with the speaker for follow-up offline. Lisa, our first question is, what are the most common pain points? So the most common pain points that we hear from our customers today uh, include things like visibility. Um, they don't understand, you know, what they have on hand end-to-end, -end, right? Sometimes there are items that are, you know, stored in various locations within a department, um, and they're difficult to find. And it's sort of that, I would say, out-of-sight, out-of-mind philosophy um, where it can be difficult and challenging. Um, the other one I, I think that's a top um, area for our customers is proactive expiration management. In the absence of an automated system, um, you're, you're spending time looking at each individual box to manage those expirations. That's a really time-intensive process. Um, so we have some amazing tools that really help our customers streamline that process and reduce the labor involved in, in that process itself. But there's also the added cost benefit of being able to be proactive with that. And I think charge capture is another big one. Um, we want to have the items that they use, they want to capture all of those in the charge, but also in the documentation so that there's a fluid process from usage documentation all the way through your audit process. And I would add, too, that um, the other challenge that we hear a lot is consignment management. A lot of people depend on, you know, their reps, per se, to help them manage that consignment, which is important. But when you have the tools to understand your consignment levels, um, that's a big win for the hospital as well. Do you support barcoding systems? We do. Um, the interesting thing, I think, about our platform um, is that we really look at applying the right amount of technology for the right product. So, for example, there's an, an, a continuum um, along the product visibility. You, you, you want to have a different level of visibility for your stents, balloons, and your pacemakers um, than you do for your, you know, your syringes and your band-aids and, and your lower dollar commodity supplies. So we cover the full range within one platform. You can track your lower dollar commodity supplies through barcoding or tube in Kanban, um, as well as your high dollar items through RFID so that you get that each level tracking down to the expiration lot and serial of each individual box. So we believe that that right technology for the right product is really key to your complete visibility of your supply chain. How much time is required to tag a product and uh, are, am I going to be required to tag? 
This is definitely a common question, and I think when, when customers start to look at RFID technology, that is one of the top things that they say. You know, is this time intensive for me? Um, so we have a couple of ways that we approach that. One is for your high um, value inventory, um, those are the items that, that fall within the range of RFID um, visibility. Um, so we want to focus on those items. Tagging itself takes about five seconds or so per box that you get in. Um, it's a pretty simple process where you're basically marrying all the information that's embedded in the barcode of the product to a unique identifier on the RFID tag. Um, so the, that is you know, not a time-intensive process, but where you really get the benefit of that is on the back end. So it's a one-time event to tag it, but it's a life cycle um, complete visibility throughout the entire life cycle of the product at that point. You can manage the expiration. You can see how long you've had products sitting on your shelves. What, how is your product aging? What are your inventory terms? There's so much value in analytics that comes as a result of that one simple five seconds that it takes to tag a product. But the other area that we're really moving into now is we're really engaging uh, with the manufacturers. So we have several manufacturers that are actually pre-tagging products. So the beauty of that is that now there's visibility all from the manufacturer all the way through utilization. So when a um, manufacturer tags for a specific facility, those items arrive with a tag on it. And at that point, all you have to do is place that RFID tag product onto one of our smart cabinets or you count it with a smart wand to receive it into inventory. So that really automates the process for you. How much does this solution cost? How's it priced out? Yes, that's a question that a lot of people ask, and it's variable depending on the facility and the type of configuration um, that you would need. Uh, we do find what we really try to focus on is, inner, is working with the customer to identify their workflows and their their specific pain points, and aligning our solution to meet those needs. We see an ROI usually is met within 12 months of utilization of the system. The other thing that the system provides is tremendous sustainability. So it's not just a one-time event like a PAR optimization might be, but we do continual PAR optimization throughout the life cycle of our system and the products. So it's an investment. And it's also looking at the ROI return and the, the sustainability of maintaining that return on investment year over year. How does your system link with the hemodynamics and other interfaces? So we have a, a, a flexible platform, and I think that's one of the strong points of our system is that we really look at the workflow of each customer that we consult with. Um, from a hemodynamics perspective, we're able to connect using a, a, a system that is USB connected between our SIM system and the hemodynamics system. So it works more of a barcode emulator, if you will. So when you wave a product at, RFI, at our RFID reader, we collect all of the usage information for that product, and then we are able to send it automatically into the hemodynamics system. Um, also with the serial number and the lot number as well. So now you have that information um, right there in your hemodynamic system. You're not required to document it manually, right? So in the case of um, some places where you have to manually type in a serial number, we automate that process. So it makes it more effective and efficient for the clinician, and then you improve your accuracy tremendously. In addition to that, we offer other interfaces. So we interface into billing systems. So for example, if you already have a billing interface between your hemodynamic monitoring system and billing, we would leverage that existing interface. We would send products into your hemo system and leverage the fact that you're already sending that information into billing. But what if you don't have a billing system in place, a billing interface, then we can absolutely um, align with you to do interfaces from our system at, at the point of use all the, um, directly into your billing system. And we do that with several customers today. And it is a huge win um, from an automation standpoint and also for, for improving that charge capture component. We also automate um, the requisition process. So we interface to materials management systems so that we can 
automate the ordering process and the, the PO return into our system so we can track each item down to its PO level. So it's very flexible um, depending on the systems that the hospital has in place already and what their goals are. One of my biggest challenges is charge capture. How exactly does it work in your system? <clears throat> so that's a great question. So when we look at charge capture, we want to capture all of the items that are, that are used. So we can flag those items as chargeable in our system on the back end so that every time it's a, a product is used, it will automatically go through the interface to the billing system. So the end user, the clinician, doesn't have to make a decision at the point of use as to if that product is chargeable or not. So we eliminate manual tracking and manual charge sheets where they're checking off products, uh, and we're able to uh, automate that charge capture process for them. Again, collecting information that's really critical to processing, such as serial numbers, lot numbers, and things like that that are oft often required um, through the billing processes. That's all the time we have today. If we didn't get to your question today, someone from Cardinal Health will be reaching out to you with an answer. We thank Lisa for her presentation. In the next few days, all attendees will receive an email that will include a link to the archived webinar session. We want to thank our audience for joining us. We want to thank Lisa for sharing best practices to optimize the cardiovascular supply chain and achieve operational excellence with automation to empower your staff. Thank you again for joining us. This concludes today's program. Have a wonderful afternoon.